Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite characters introduced in Legacies, and that's the alter ego herself, Dark Josie. Now I know some people already have their mind made up about Josie. They have a certain distaste for her. So I'm not gonna lie, this video may not be for you. It's all positive vibes over here. But I would still like to hear what about this character you may not like. And if you're like me and obsessed over this character as much as I do, so much she's your YouTube profile, it's time to go in. To start off with the acting, as we all know from watching Legacies, Kaylee Bryant is one of the best actresses on the show. Her character is mainly known for caring too much. It's a problem. I care too much. It's kind of a problem. So watching the writers give Josie a personality shift was interesting to watch. We got to tease Kaylee's range as an actress, and I think she pulled it off fantastically. And I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical at first because Kaylee was new to playing that kind of role, but I think she pulled the art of not giving a crap very good. And I wouldn't mind seeing Kaylee play her again. That's how much I really enjoyed Dark Josie. I'm gonna do something different this time around when explaining the character's development. I'm gonna go through episode by episode describing how Dark Josie progressed through them. And then by the end, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on her character. So her first on-screen appearance was in the episode, You Can't Save Them All. And as for personality-wise, in this episode, we can see that she's very mellow now. She just doesn't care. She isn't worried that Lizzie could possibly die from a car crash. She doesn't care that her father wants to sacrifice himself. And when they escape the prison world, it's shown that Josie is back to normal, but as we soon learn in the end of the episode, it's far from that case. In the next episode, the Super Squad plus Wendy was sent into a variation of a Chambre de Chasse for essentially therapy. But as we soon learn, someone inside the simulation is rewriting the rules and killing off the Super Squad plus Wendy. And you guessed it, it's Dark Josie. And we learned that her plan was to get Lizzie alone in the box. She basically explains to Lizzie that her plan is to leave her consciousness in the box and merge with her body back in the real world. But her plan failed and she was kept in the basement of the school until she woke up. And then one of the best moments in TVD history happens. Dark Josie Jean Grey and Magneto herself out of that basement by pulling the floor up and like a boss walked out of the school unbothered. It was truly amazing. You had to be there. In the next episode, episode 15, it's the twins birthday and Josie returns to the school to announce she's ready to merge with Lizzie. Now, as we see throughout the episode, Josie has become more cutthroat. We see she tries to kill MG for reminding her of who she used to be. She threatens Lizzie that if she doesn't show up for the merge, something bad will happen. She then even kills Alyssa Chang for basically telling Lizzie to be selfish and not do the merge. So she's very determined as we see. She'll stop anybody that tries to get in her way. Then we go into the best scenes in the episode. To the necromancer announcing Josie like she's in a boxing match. To Hope versus Dark Josie. Then we get the merge. And as some of us already knew, Josie won. But not for the reason some people might think. I might make a video on why Josie won the merge specifically. In her last episode appearance, we see that she's very adamant of completing her part of the deal with the necromancer because she knows the merge wasn't completed. So throughout the entire episode, we see that she travels inside her mind to find out who's there that's not supposed to be there. And by the end of the episode, normal Josie is able to regain full control again and Lizzie gives the necromancer all the dark magic inside of Josie, thus getting rid of Dark Josie altogether. For my honest opinion, I really like Dark Josie. I'm not gonna lie, she definitely has some cringy moments. The whole walk down the hallway in slow-mo was bad enough, but all in all, I loved how she progressed through the episodes, from this mellow alter ego to this dark force. Dark Josie is a really powerful witch, seeing as she is using dark magic, a known magical source amplifier. So now I'm basically just going to list her most powerfulest moments, which is basically any time she uses magic. First, we see that she can turn on a vampire's humanity switch, and I don't think we've ever seen another witch do that. We then see on multiple occasions she has some limited mental control. One, she was able to look inside her mind to see what spell was affecting her mind. We then see her later that day create a portal out of a prison world. She then was able to rewrite the rules of a Chambre de Chasse. Then she uprooted the ground while simultaneously blowing up the Salvatore school. 
We see that she's one of a few witches that we've seen teleport. She was even able to win her family's legacies, the merging ritual. So to say she is powerful is an understatement, and I didn't list all of her feats, so I suggest you should watch all of her appearances and legacies. I really don't have any end thoughts for this character. Everything I said has already been stated, so I'll just leave off with, I would definitely love to see her character appear again, or who knows, in a different story, her own spinoff. But anyways, tell me what you think about Dark Josie in the comments below.